What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Doodle Session. I'm your host, Crambo. What's up, Ian? What's up, Sven? What, is, what up, Anastasia? What's up, everybody? Mataxo, yeah, what's up? Whoa, Majid, what's up, everybody? Moon later. <clears throat> Draw a crab riding a dolphin. It's so easy to ride a dolphin. It's so easy. What's up, Reddit? What's up, Majid? How you doing? Motaxo. Motaxo. What's up, Anna? Ann? Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Yeah, how you doing, Ian? How you guys doing? Okay, sharpen the pencil. Let's get down to doodling. Ten fans in here for daytime doodles. What's up? How you guys doing? Excellent. What's the weather like where you guys are today? Cindy! Oh. Cindy! What's up? Shaking bacon. Cam, what's up? What's shaking, dude? A crab riding a dolphin? <laughs> That's gonna be weird, but I could try. It's cold but super sunny outside. Hey! Yo! You benching 420 yet? Como estas? Alright, that's pretty sharp. Somewhat sharp. Let's start doodling something. What are we gonna do? I'm not really good at drawing dolphins. Dude, you know what? Daytime doodling is not over doing a bit. Oh, that's daytime drinking. <laughs> <coughs> Coffee in a cofferson. Can you guys see okay? Is it too dark? I'm using daylight. Look at these wrinkly old 90 year old hands. <laughs> What's up, real star? It's perfect lighting. Excellent. Well, what's up, doodling? So, you guys having a good Saturday so far? Time to manage to finish my video games as you started. Which video games are you playing? Which system? You're talking about your old age again? Yeah. Man, I've aged so much in the past year. I'm an old slumber. Slumber. You're not even old. <laughs> yeah, I am. I just look at them. Alright. We're gonna draw some we're gonna draw a crab. Maybe he he may or may not be riding a dolphin, but let's try drawing a crab. Um, and then we can figure out what cartoon characters you guys want me to try drawing after. It's a crab body right here. Place PS4 be the type of again. Sweet. I was thinking about getting a PS4. I just don't know. I want to wait. I'm kind of like in love with Zelda. I think I might want to wait for that new Nintendo Switch or something to come out. I think I might want to play some Nintendo. Probably get nothing done. I'll like play a game and then I'll probably lose my job. Like, I haven't seen that guy for weeks. <laughs> like I'm in a cave playing video games. Gonna watch while I get ready for the Monster Jam. What's a Monster Jam? They're like, oh, get the Switch, man. Okay, I got to. What's the Monster Jam? Monster Jam. Draw some of the serial characters like Trix Rabbit or something. Oh, that's a good idea. Big trucks crushing little cars. Are you actually going to the serious monster truck? I thought the movie. Yeah, I gotta go to the dollar shop so I can watch that. Oh, uh, car problems suck. Serial characters! The Grave Digger. Grave Digger, Digger, Digger. Monster Show, Show, Show. One day only, only at the Thunderdome. Graham on Periscope, it says I'm your super fan. What? Sweet, congratulations. <laughs> I will snap for you. Oh, sweet. That's what, that sounds like the new romance line. All right, baby, I'll snap for you. I did the workouts yesterday, man, then I had to take a douchey gym selfie. <laughs> oh no. Was it in front of a mirror when you're like flexing your abs? Like, hey, ladies, 
douchey gym selfie. You're like, oh, I saw those. You knew exactly what douchey selfies he was talking about. Flex Friday. Flex Friday. Stud Saturday. Uh... Posted it on Instagram. You posted it on Instagram? Dude. <laughs> it's like, I can't help it, man. I'm beautiful. Not one, but two. He, couldn't, he was so huge, he couldn't fit his whole muscles in one pick. <laughs> it's progress reports, man. Progress. It's purely for technical reasons. So auto shop should want to dress up from press or down for pity. You have to dress down for pity. You have to just, just if they think you got money, you're going to get overcharged, guaranteed. My friends told me to post the one with them and all those. And also like, go in there asking for like, is there anything cheaper? Like the first thing you think of is like, they're like, oh, you're going to need new brake pads. And you go, what's the cheapest brake pads? Is it cheaper if I just get one right now? And they're going to be like, oh, geez, this guy's hard on for money. And like, if I just replace one of the brake pads right now, so I can just, I don't need to stop suddenly, I just need to like ease down to a slow, a slow pace. <clears throat> They'll be like, okay, we'll give you a deal. And be like, yes. <laughs> ease down to a slow stop. Yeah. It's actually safer to just not jam on the brakes. That way no one loses their uh, coffee. No one will spill their coffee in the car. And your airbags won't have to be deployed. One brake pad per month. <laughs> yeah. Can you go, do you guys have any sales on where it's like buy one brake pad, get three for free? They'd be like, uh, no. How about now? Is this a haggle scope? <laughs> teaching people, teaching people how to get things for cheaper. Oh yeah. <laughs> Every time you go into Starbucks, if you just take a sugar pack, keep in your pocket, eventually you'll have like a whole bunch of sugar for cooking. And it's good quality sugar. And you'll never need to like buy sugar ever again. Every time you go to McDonald's, ask for some extra ketchup packs, just stick them in your fridge. Eventually you won't even have to buy, <laughs> buy ketchup anymore. Have manual so you can just gear break. Oh yeah. Have you watched the show Firefly? Uh, no, one of my cousins used to be obsessed with that show though. He was just like, I love this show. What's up, bad one mega? Success tips from Graham. How to win at the world. I'm gonna give you some tips today and they're gonna be fantastic. They're just gonna be the greatest tips that you've ever seen. They're just gonna be the best. Best tips you've ever heard. Save you the most amount of money. The, uh, oh, Vadim, okay. What's up, Vadim? It's kind of like Adam, but with a V in it. Vadim. All right, there's the beginning of my, uh, crab. Uh oh, Wolverine just got, some guy just called out Wolverine, picking a fight with him. Oh, I just shot him in the stomach. Oh, he just shot him again. Oh, Wolverine, dude. How can you save on flights? Well, for Canadians, saving on flights is going to the States. Uh, if you're going to fly from the States to the States. So where in particular are you looking to fly to? What's up, City Cynic? Uncle Grambo. I'm so old, I'm uncle. I'm old, I'm an uncle. Oh, I'm gonna fit some. Japan, you wanna go to Japan? Okay, if you wanna do like major international flights, uh, you gotta buy them in the middle of the week, like a Tuesday or a Wednesday. That's the cheapest. And then you gotta go onto a website, like, I'm trying to play video games and watch you scope at the same time. <laughs> sushi there in Japan. And then, um, Wow, so many bad people in this movie, Wolverine. Ew, she has a big tongue. 
Ew, and she licked them and he turned into bubbles. Sick. Japan is amazing. Have you been to Japan? That's cool. I need to go. It's funny actually, this right now in this part of the movie they're in Japan. It's a weird coincidence. Okay, I'm just gonna draw the legs on this little this dude. Yeah, you went when you went to Thailand, you went to Japan too? Ah, lucky. This one's sweet. Your reactions to Wolverines are hilarious. Like the Wolverine movie? I've never seen it before. What? Wait, no. That guy just jumped and froze in midair to shoot his arrow. I think that's a movie mistake. Oh no, he jumped on a roof. <laughs> they just didn't show where he landed. Those losers. Talk about deceiving. All right, I'm just gonna draw like the legs here. Give them like little... Crustaceans are weird, that's how I shoot arrows all the time. You're like Zelda. Under the sea, under the sea. Everybody looking at me under the sea. I'm gonna draw little, little. There you go. Oh, my uh, washing machine just stopped. So freezing in here. I forgot to put the heat on when I fell asleep. Not that you guys care or need to know this, but then I woke up and I was like, I'm freezing my balls off. <laughs> I'm freezing. How have you been? I've been stressed. Oh my god, I've been so stressed. So stressed. What's new in your guys' lives? What's new, everybody? A little torn up jeans with whole pockets, so much. You can buy them, but where the fuck? <laughs> How's work? Work's okay, but there's some good things and bad things. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. What are you making? So we're doing a little crab. So I'm just gonna go back over. Ah, uh, it's a long story. Some things hopefully will get worked out soon, but I've been saying that for a long time. I think it's... Uh, being an adult is hard. Being older and paying for bills sucks. There's always something, there's always something going on. Oh, sad. Sorry. Yeah. Are you drawing with a colored pencil? Yep. This is a blue pencil crayon. It's a word for it. Prismacolor. Coal erase. Blue. How's Periscope working right now? Is it freezing? Is the audio working? Because per Periscope's been having some. Being a kid is hard. You're right. Being a kid is really difficult. I remember being a kid. Every day there's like something going on, there's stresses, you're getting used to stuff. Falling asleep is hard. Dreaming, you know, getting control of like your dreams and things you think of, like having all that energy. Oh, and growing pains. Growing pain sucks. All those pains in your legs, those achy feelings. Taught me to draw, teach you to draw. You can teach people how to draw, sure. Uh, I remember being a kid and then you're like worrying like I don't know kids still worry about being bullied because I was bullied when I was younger and that was always stressful you'd be like worrying about your next day and the people the certain people that treated you bad I'm sure I didn't really endure much of the growing pains uh, so I used to get growing pains all the time and it would really hurt. And then one year I grew like six inches and I had like weird knees because I grew so fast. Do you like to talk to tomatoes? No, 
Adults like wondering if credit card can hold up under the weight of auto shop. Kids can be so mean. Oh, I had the worst kids to deal with when I was in school. I got shoved in lockers like every day. That, that actually happened. <laughs> like almost six feet and I get coin pains. You're gonna be huge, dude. I got, they used to play this game called pinball where they'd surround you, like six or seven people would surround you and just push you back and forth like you're in the middle of a circle. You just get pushed from one person to the other. That happened to me like so much. You already are huge. I used to be huge. I used to work out when I played hockey. I had like muscles on my muscles on my neck. I can't even be mean to you, so likable. Oh, thanks. So maybe they stole your story. You should see them. Yeah, uh, what else happened? Well, I learned to fight back. But, and then I also had to learn like mind games with people. I had to manipulate people just to survive. <laughs> I had to become good friends with like teachers that would punish the bad kids for me. Right, this is my funny crab. But then eventually you learn that you gotta stick up for yourself. The more passive you are, the more you don't stick up for yourself, people push you around, especially nowadays. You gotta learn like how to be assertive without like being emotional and getting upset, you just have to kind of learn how to lay down the law. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Only in self-defense. Yeah. People, I've watched too many Van Damme movies. Alright, cool, good luck with the uh, car there. Moon bather, wise woman must be. I remember in second grade, I used to like this boy, and I said hi to him, and then he broke his glasses. Uh, lover's quarrel. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, little boys are mean. Although I don't think I was a mean little boy. Yeah, I've watched Bloodsport. I got like every single Van Damme movie. All the moves I've learned from Van Damme. It's like, whoa! Whoops. Hit my phone. All right, there's our crab. Put little like sand marks here. Yeah, well, I don't have them, but I've seen them. One of my friends actually did the renovations on his apartment here in Vancouver. He actually bought like the entire there's this huge blue tower in Vancouver called the Shaw Tower uh, and Jean-Claude Van Damme bought the entire 36th floor and one of my friends did the renovations on the place where they knocked down walls and like got rid of some of the bathrooms in the other units and like turned into one massive uh, suite to live in. Yeah, they like threw out like all the brand new like kitchen cupboards and all that kind of stuff and remodeled it. It's a pretty sweet place. It's got like an amazing 360 degree view of the city. The entire floor, yeah, he bought the entire floor. And that's expensive in Vancouver. That's like, when he bought it, it was probably like a good like 15 million maybe. Yeah, he's a badass. Watch me crack walnuts with my butt. Zebra girl, what's up zebra girl? Zebra, zebra girl. Okay, what's the next doodle? I drew like a random crab. What are we drawing next, guys? Howdy. Oh, a nice profile picture that you got there. How about George from Curious George? Okay, when I grow up, I'm gonna buy a whole floor and building. When I grow up, I'm gonna buy a whole building. I'm gonna put my name on the outside in giant orange metallic letters. And it's gonna be like the anti-Trump building. Oh, thanks. My construction is going to be very good. JVC doing the splits. What up, everybody? This is my song. I'm going to tell everybody. This is my song. I don't you know why. I don't you know why. Look how excited about the weekend. Look for my pick. Oh, yeah. And been by the weekend. I don't understand you. I'm living in Ukraine. Ah, what's up, Vad one? Vadim? Vadim. Ukraine. I have a pair of uh, Ukrainian nesting dolls. They remind me of you. 
I hope you don't mind. Boom, 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 weekend. we having some fun. Browns, mm, browns, browns, browns. My phone died. Oh, too many selfies. Too many gym selfies. All right, this is how you draw Curious George. All right, bye, bye, Vadim. Ukraine. Alright. So you draw a monkey. Mm -hmm. Gym selfies. Thank you. Too many gym selfies. <laughs> yeah. Kills batteries. Mm. Let's do this. Ears. Okay. Are you having a good weekend so far? It's only just begun. How are you doing? How's your weekend? How's your weekend? I believe in angels. Mm. You perfect. Oh, thank you. I believe in angels. It's going great, you know, laundry and adulting. And you're committing adultery? Oh my god. Do you remember Curious George with a tail or without? I think he didn't have a tail. You're like, I'm now. Yeah, I don't think he had a tail. It's one of the Mandela effect things. What happened? What are you talking about? Draw Peter Griffin? Okay. What's up everybody? Welcome to another daytime doodle session. I'm your host, Grambo. You can follow me, the doodles, on Instagram, Grambo Doodles. Or you can follow me on, look at this bird. <laughs> it's like, it's like a turkey. Follow me on uh, Twitter, Grambo. He's like, oh, it's got like two foreheads. <laughs> Which is like at eight heads. I don't even know what happened. What was I thinking? Early morning doodles never turn out as well. <laughs> They're always a disaster. Why's that bird got a Popeye? <laughs> I don't know. I think people swear it's Berenstein Bears, but it's always been Berenstein Bears. Oh yeah, do you remember the Berenstein Bears? I guess you do, because you just mentioned them. I mean, odds are you you know who they are. The Berenstein Bears. Everyone's always screaming in the Wolverine. Yeah, what do you think of the people who wear bright orange short pants? I think they either better be biking or they better hope to get a deal on their brakes. That monkey's hand has hands for feet. He does. He's like, er. Oh man, Wolverine's just like slicing everybody. How they get on a train? Whoa, that scene looks exactly like Mission Impossible. Don't have too much time, but hi. What's up, Miguel Torres? Miguel Torres, because just some bot on sale. Have a good weekend, Miguel Torres. Wow. Got a party tonight. Which kind of party? A house party? Hey, check me out, 80. What's up? Oh, thank you. 
Let's draw like a big foot. Gotta be careful where I put that toe. Don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> and neon, as long as they're not neon. Are they neon pants? <coughs> Maybe I'll give him like a posture like, he's like, What's up everybody? Oh, they just threw a commercial in on the most weird time. Have fun volunteering. Being an adult sucks. I'd like to stay a kid forever. Thanks, it's gonna be fine. It's the Vancouver Film Festival. You going to the Vancouver Film Festival? Which movie are you watching? Are you going to a costume party? What are you dressing up as? There you go. No, I like... You're volunteering at it. Oh, cool. Can you get me in? Too much space between things here for... For Dicicle? Are you talking about the uh, package showing in your tight, tight short shorts? He's like, yes. <laughs> I could have yesterday because I had a free ticket. Oh. Smooth Mr. Doodles. I know. Nothing like being blunt and asking for free tickets. Are you leaving? They're not short shorts? Well, I don't know. If they show your upper thigh, uh, that's what they call short shorts. The neighbors made up dress or whatever they say. <laughs> they're just bright orange. Or they're like long shorts? the knee okay so like army style like cargo shorts do they have pockets or are they slick you gotta have the pockets it means more empty pockets to pull out and show them that you got no money you just like pull them out so they're like completely empty and like inside out and you're like look at me i can't even carry any money and they're like fine fine I hate it when you like take your car and they pull that whole thing and like it would be irresponsible for us to let you drive away. Oh, thank you, Pee Pee, Peppy. It'd be irresponsible for us to let you drive away right now. Your car is unsafe until you spend six hundred dollars. No car pants, just regular pockets. Oh, okay, cool. They sound like dress shorts. Drawing a monkey. Why so curious? Why so curious? Going well, thanks for asking. Be careful at your party and have fun. What do you watch in the background? Some kind of cool commercial. It's shot really nicely. It's about, I'm guessing it's built for TV or something. No, it's about technology. Samsung, perhaps? Yep, it's a Samsung commercial. Samsung commercial. Wait, they just said future friendly? Oh, maybe it was a TELUS commercial. Don't! Oh. Haha, uh -huh, fine, don't worry. You better be fine. Because the world just wouldn't be the world without you. Send pic to Twitter, Grambo. Oh, thanks. Okay, I'll check it out. Gotta have dinner see soon. Okay, Miguel. 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 Miguel like doodles. My eyeball's still bothering me. Do you ever judge others' commercials? Of course I do. Most commercials suck. <laughs> So yeah, I judge commercials. Oops, look at that weird shaped body. I totally screwed up. Oh well. I was distracted by the awful commercials.
What's up, Cooler Bar Torica? Torica? Harsh. Your eyeballs still bothering me? Yeah, I am pretty harsh. That's what I do. Whoa, he's so angry. That's a pretty sweet scene in this movie, though. Oh, the guy just flew away. Oh, it must be a bullet train. You make a pirate patch? No, but I hope I. I hope I don't have to end up wearing one. I'm kind of worried, actually. It's like quite painful. It's called Wolverine. Oh no, wait, Logan. Wolverine? I think it's called the Wolverine. He said shut up to her. He's like Mr. Gentleman. He's like, shut up! Oh no, oh, it's a new one. Does that look weird? Should his body have been here? Yeah. Shoot. Yeah. If you're a pirate patch, you must speak like a pirate. Arr. Arr. I'm just gonna quickly shade in here. What happened to your eye? I don't know, it just started hurting like a couple days ago. Really badly. Like, if I leave it open longer than two seconds, it waters like crazy. And when I close it, like, tightly, it really, really hurts. And then when my eyes closed, and I, like, put my finger on the outside of the eyelid, I can feel where it hurts on my eyeball. And it's, like, right in the middle. It really hurts. And I looked inside it. There's nothing inside it. It's not red. It's not bloodshot. It's not, like, weird or anything. It looks normal. Do you wear contacts? No. That sounds awful rubbing your eyes too hard. No, I don't really rub my eyes. No, I mean, I have reading glasses, but I don't really wear them. I don't need to. Oh, sweet. You recognize it's George. Julius. Julius 93. Oh, thank you for inviting followers. Why so curious? All right, I'm just going to quickly shade this because I kind of like... Don't want to bore you guys with my shading. What's the next doodle, guys? Which one should I doodle next? I'm gonna fill this page. I'm gonna do one and I'm gonna ink it. Oh, SpongeBob, he's so tricky. So make sure you guys follow me on uh, Twitter. Get any face wash or shampoo in your eyes. Well, I don't use any uh, soap. No, I'm just kidding. No, I didn't. Uh, Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter. Or make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Grambo Doodles. You guys can see how these things turn out. Can you draw people? Yeah. So, like sketches? Yeah. Here's just a quick, this is uh, the new book that I started just a little while ago. A little quick overview of some of the requests that I've been given. Just quick little doodles. Quick little doodles. Just going through a bunch of little doodles. You draw a picture of me. Remember. So these are just some of the doodles. Random. So I'm I'm like a quarter through this book, which is kind of cool. A quarter of the way through. Oh yeah. That's the last one. And then boom, today. This is where we are at today. It's on TV, there's not a goat in here, I promise. <laughs> Awkward. Thank you. Just doodles. I promise you there's not a goat in here watching me. Did you ever get to Bishop? Did you ever get to Bishop? Bishop? Goat hair in your eye? Maybe that's what it was. What's Bishop? You can see all the lines coming out when I'm shading this guy. From Marvel. Oh yeah. I checked him out. I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to like learn, practice that guy a little bit before I can draw him. Alright, I'm just going to quickly shade this guy. Oh no, I could wing it. I could try just drawing it without practice. Oh, 
I'm so distracted by this movie. This movie's like so good. It's intense. I didn't know it would be this. I thought it would just be something I could put on in the background. There you go. Why so curious? Wolverine? Looking forward to the new one. Yeah, me too. Batman. Make sure you guys follow. If you guys want to request, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Carambo Doodles. Carambo. All right. All right, guys. If you guys are new here, what we do is we take the doodle requests. We fill the page up. Once this page is completely full, like we're talking full, full. And then the doodle session is over. Wolverine. <laughs> Mickey Mouse or Danger Mouse? Ooh, I like Danger Mouse. Challenge on. Okay, Danger Mouse after uh, Wolverine. You guys trying to stop me. I'm going to do a quick Wolverine. This movie is so distracting. All right, this is, uh, I'm going to do like a Wolverine. So what do you think about orange shorts? Oh, that's my favorite color. So I think I like orange shorts. Okay. Do you see the story? What? Don't. I'm just gonna draw like an eyeball here. Do you see the pick? Oh no, I can't. Once I, uh, I can't leave um, uh, Periscope here, or it will disconnect the broadcast. What's up, Takoon? What's up? What's up? Trying to draw Wolverine. Not sure if this is going to turn out, but you miss me. Thank you. All right, let's give him like a grumpy Wolverine like face. Haha, <laughs> but I'm right there. Grumpy cat face. Let's see if I can put his eye in the right spot. It's gonna be right there. Am I okay? Something right in front of you. Or you can, because it's like so near, but so far away. Is that a blue pencil? Yeah. What kind of device do you use to hold your phone to scope? Uh, I went to Dollarama. And I got this like super cheap $3 tripod thing that's like bendy and and it works. Whoa, that's an annoying commercial. Why would they want to make something so annoying? Do 
you hate it. Like, I don't understand. Like, do they honestly think that, like, it gets your attention, but it doesn't make you want to watch and buy their stupid product? People that make ads are so stupid. Like, what's wrong with people? Some people have, like, no taste. Let's get some, like, give them some stubble. Some Wolverine stubble. Because it still catches your attention, you're going to tell someone that you hate it. <laughs> I know. But then that's counterproductive, right? Like if no one likes your commercials, no one's gonna buy your product. The claws going up. Okay, bad publicity, still publicity. Yep, and turns in hashtag and spreads like crazy. You guys know, you guys know advertising. Getting a whole bunch of little speckled stubble. Hey, Erica, what's up? Hashtag the herpes of the internet. Oh, stubble. All right, now I'm gonna just kind of like. Oh yeah. Just a little bit of shading. Like this. Sweet. Let's give him like an eyeball. Let's go shade it in. Supergirl ruined my life. Oh, Scopeland's kicking in the whole app again. What's on? With, what's wrong with the Periscope? Need to do some serious upgrades. Maybe they're just getting too popular. Yeah, it's curious, George. Instagram is the new scope. I hope not. Yours is good. Okay. Periscope's doing fine. Have you done it? I tried one the other day. No one watched it. Well, five people did. These losers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Set times when to share on Twitter and Periscope trend up and from when to share on Twitter and Periscope trend up. Hey! Alright, here's my Wolverine. What was I gonna do? Doggy, what was the dog? D Instagram's like videos are mostly of celebs. Oh yeah. Danger Mouse, yes. I guess I'm gonna put this one. Danger Mouse. Does Instagram save for after views? No, it doesn't. It delete. It deletes the second you're finished. The second you're done, it's gone. What? Vampire patch. 
just, what's the top right? Grambo Doodles on Instagram. G-R-R-A-N-B-O-D-O-O-D-L-E-S. Right, Danger Mouse. This movie's so distractingly dramatic. I thought it would be like an action, like X-Men movie. Bingo was his name Oh, Did you go to art school? Uh, yeah. Well, it wasn't really art school. Is there art programs? Try Richie Rich at the ATM for me, please. Okay, maybe I'll try to fit Richie Rich in here after Danger Mouse. Fit Danger Mouse in right here. So let's see. Like that. Do you color? I can, yes, I do. It. Yeah, totally. That's the way oh, 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 I like it. You must have a photographic memory. It's what I do. It's what I do. No, I don't always do it successfully. In our class, what challenged you the most? Um, dealing with people. <laughs> Pretty cool. Daytime Periscope, maybe I've had a phone use daytime television check for that reason. <laughs> okay. It's got a patch like that. So over here goes like this. Dealing or doodling? Dealing. Can you draw perspective drawings? Yep. Do you draw logos? Yep. I can do logos. I do those on the computer though. Danger Mouse. West coast of Canada. Oops. Where are you guys from? Swarovski are Pol and Polo are two favorites. Oh, the UK, sweet. Ooh, Vancouver area, yes. Wolverine Sylvania. You come from your house. Wisconsin and Thailand or Trinidad, sweet. Nice seawall. You come in peace. That sounded like special life from Cranky and Goes through the challenge of these because of all comments it was being with lightning. <laughs> I read it. Zebra <clears throat> Gazoo from the Finstones all time cartoon pick. Gazoo, draw SpongeBob next. Please, please. SpongeBob. Uh oh, it's noon. Can't stay too much longer. If 
favorite cartoon, Iron Giant. If you guys have not seen the Iron Giant, watch the Iron Giant. Alright, there's Danger Mouse. What? You like what? Alright guys, what were we gonna do? The last what was the last one? Forgot already what it was gonna be. Uh Richie Rich. I might ink Richie Rich. So I might spend a little bit more time on that. Richie Rich. And then I'll watch the end of this movie because I'm so into it now. Nice danger. Mouse. Oh thanks. Yeah, it's a little off. His nose could have been a bit bigger. I'm watching Wolverine right now. Richie Rich at ATM Modern Day. Um, let's see if I can fit Richie Rich in here. Just watched Criminal the other day. I just watched that movie the other day too with um, uh, Kevin Costner. That was actually a pretty good movie. It was on Netflix. Have you seen the trailer for Logan? Yes. Yeah, Kevin Costner. You know he didn't have a card like that back then. Richie Rich. Let's put him right here. They're gonna love this. They're gonna love you this Valentine's Day. Canadian version of Netflix is pretty cool. You get all the movies. Oh, yeah. Whoa, this movie's crazy. Okay, now this commercial, so now I can get focused on drawing again. Nailed it already. Oh, thank you. All right, have a good day, dudes. Good luck with the car. Commercial digs. How long does it take to get this good? I don't know. If you practice a lot, maybe not too long. What is that? Okay. Screwed up. Trying to fit him in here. Can you make funny commentary for your drawings? Sure. Draw a little nose like this. Sorry guys. I'm like concentrating on too many things right now. Can you draw a YouTuber? Seems like that'd be a little tricky. Thank you. Hey, what YouTuber? I'm just gonna fix his head here. I'm trying to fit him in this space between Curious George and my crab. I have to say that I really, really hate this Coca-Cola commercial where these people are like in the Antarctic. It's so cheesy. It seems like Coke is making things cheesy on purpose. YouTube Snowy Hills. Can you draw just skeptic eyes? Is it the green can? It is. 
You guys don't get the green cans. Suckers! Oh, thank you. Huh? It's gonna be a big sleeve. It's gonna be like a wad of money. Gives the world diabetes. Tap two diabetes. I can't drink Coke. Me neither. Hurts my teeth. Megatron. Oh, you guys I have to tell you guys something really great. That made me feel so good. So doing these commercials where we uh, go out and, and meet people on the street and get them to submit different videos and stuff like that, talking about what life is like for them and problems in the world and all that kind of stuff. And so we came across this one girl who was very well-spoken, she seemed very smart, uh, and at the end of the interview found out that she was homeless she had no place to live. She was only 18 years old. And, and, um, and then we found out that she was pregnant. She was homeless and pregnant. And, no, not that I, no, it, she didn't seem that way. It, and her parents, like, just no one, like, she just got ditched. And she was, like, in a, a woman's shelter. And I'm pretty sure that she was, like, abused. And that kid was, like, the result of a very unfortunate event in her life. And um, so I asked my employers... Uh, that I said, I just don't feel right us leaving and not doing anything to help her. And so they sent me an email the other day that they went, like our client, uh, went out there and reached out to her, found her, tracked her down, and they've secured a place for her to live. So they've taken her off the street. So she's safer now. I'm so happy to hear that. I was like, yes. Yeah. So that's like my first big news of 2017. It made my list of most amazing things. So that's the first thing that I've done this year. Yeah, it made me pretty pumped. I was really happy. All right. So maybe I'll ink something. Maybe I should ink this guy. Which one should we should we outline? Or should we draw something different and outline it? What time is it? Chapter 12. Should we do one last bonus doodle? Yeah, I got some stuff to do today. But I can do a bonus doodle. Alright, let's go backtrack, guys. So this is the first doodle page. This is quite full. I'm just going to put a little signature. Where can I fit it? Right here. Woody the Woodpecker. Do you want Woody the Woodpecker to be the last bonus doodle? Let's go back. You guys want Woody the Woodpecker? Vancouver Canucks mascot, Finn. Spider-Man. Thanks. Well, I don't mind Woody the Woodpecker. So let's do that. Maybe I'll ink it, so I'll try to draw it carefully. So let's see. Let's put 
his eyes like this. Like this. So you get the shape of the face, right? Kind of like put in where I want the mouth to go. And it's gonna have a mouth like this. Like that. He was so racist back in the day. Well, maybe I shouldn't draw him then. Or maybe I'll have him more accepting. Doing old school version. Uh, whatever one this guy turns out to be. Everything I do kind of has like a little retro look to him. Big, eye big eyebrows. Like that. As a girl. Oh, thanks. Let's do that. Oh no. Whoa, I got distracted by the movie. Is this Daffy Duck or Donald Duck? This is um, Woody Woodpecker. I see it now. I'm gonna fix his face a little bit. I'm just give him a skinny, heavy breathing in the background. It's Wolverine. I'm watching Wolverine movie. He just had a bad dream. He woke up and his blades were out. He's like, Argh. Canadian smile. <laughs> He's like, hey. He said, because he would have wanted me to. As I said to my bed. Hey, everybody. He's like, <laughs> hey. Okay, how am I going to draw this hand? Wolverine killed Jean? I had no idea. Alright. So there's the outlines. What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining. If you guys have, uh, or if you guys are new here, you can follow me on, thank you, on Instagram, see all the doodles turn out, Grambo Doodles, G R R A M B O Doodles. You can follow me on Twitter, Grambo, G R R A M G R R A M B O, on Twitter. I post some uh, good little tips there. Do you know how to draw the penguin Chili Willy? I think his name is. Yes. I remember. Chili, Chili Willy. All right, what I'm going to do is, I'm just, this is the last doodle of the day, so I'm just going to go over this with the Copic marker. Because I'm getting a cramp in my left hip from the sitting weird on this couch, drying on the arm. So I'm just going to go over this really. Are you in a yoga pose? Kind of. I'm in a half bent leg yoga pose. Follow Robart Designs on Instagram when you get a chance. I do follow him. Does lots of like 
monsters and bloody, gory sci-fi doodles. It's a funny guy. He was in his scope. Yeah, I was checking him out the other day, watching him. I like watching other artists when I'm not doodling. And I got some time. You get crazy up in the scopes. Yeah, he's quite the wacky guy. I'm a little wacky myself, you know what I'm No one out wackies me. Nobody. Oh. That's your telethon. Women's row game. Interesting. Maybe I should start using that. Women's row game. Yeah. Well, it happens to everybody. It sucks. I'm just gonna go back to Spider-Man. Of course he does. Oh, you mean do Spider-Man? Mine grows like a cheap head. Oh, you're lucky. Bladder leaks? What kind of channel am I watching here? Oh my God. Depends underwear? Am I, am I, Weeks away from using those. Mostly gray hair now. I'm 40. I'm a mayor and I'm 40. Perfect doom marathon. Are you watching the Serious Disney Channel? I guess so. It seems like I am. Alright guys, we're almost finished, the last doodle. I'm watching this because I'm having a hard time finishing this. The outlines are horrible and I apologize. How big is your drawing pad? Pretty small. Like, here's my hand. Huge doodle hands. Thank you. Well, by different strokes, once you have someone passes on. Oh yeah. All right, guys. Ooh, ooh, there you go. All right, so this is what we did today. We drew a amazing. Oh, thank you, thank you. Drawing the doodles. So don't forget, guys. See what you can do is you can follow me. Oh, thank you. you can follow me on Instagram. See how they turn out. G R R A M B O D O O D L E S. You can follow me on Twitter. I post stuff on Twitter quite often. Grambo, thank you. So today we drew a uh, cartoon crab, danger mouse, Richie Rich, pulling money out of an ATM machine. Couldn't fit the ATM machine in there. Uh, thanks. Uh, thanks, Zebra. 
Uh, Curious George, why so curious? A little Wolverine, quick doodle of a Wolverine. Uh, and then Woody Woodpecker. So thanks everyone for watching. Hope you have a good Saturday. Make a draw. Next time, follow me, and, and we'll do it next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget, you can follow me on Snapchat too. Grambo, G-R-R-A-M-B-O. Thank you, me too. All right, take it easy, guys. Have a fun one. Bye-bye.